Ensure that your concrete has cured for a minimum of 72 hours before proceeding. Items needed for Gorilla assembly not included. 1 15 16 open-end wrench. 1 15 16 socket and ratchet set. 1 9 16 deep well socket and ratchet. 1 3 quarter socket and ratchet. 1 3 quarter open-end wrench. 1 5 16 socket driver. 1 drill and 9 64 drill bit. 1 level. 1 tape measure. 1 rubber mallet. 1 set of padded sawhorses. 2 ladders, safety glasses, 1 Phillips screwdriver. Step 1. Attach the post brackets to outside of brackets on back of post assembly. Secure each bracket. Step 2. Slide actuator sleeve over actuator and place actuator cap on top. Align holes in all three parts and slide pivot tube through holes in actuator cap, plastic actuator sleeve and steel actuator until equal amounts stick through both sides of the actuator. It may be necessary to use a rubber mallet to tap in pivot tube. Note, it is important to use the plastic washers provided. These washers adequately space painted parts at all pivot points. Neglecting these washers can cause damage to your hoop. Step 3. Lay pole on its side on two padded sawhorses. Attach actuator to pole. Tighten nuts. Step 4. If pole cap is not pre-installed, insert it into the top of the pole. It may be necessary to use a rubber mallet to tap cap in. Step 5. Attach lower arm to pole. Verify that Gorilla lettering is right side up. Do not tighten nut at this time. Step 6. Secure actuator to lower arm. Snug both nuts, but do not over tighten. Board arms must pivot freely. Step 7. If the four tube plugs are not already installed, insert them into open ends of lower arms. Step 8. Attach upper arms to pole. Ensure that the drain holes are on the bottom side. Snug nuts, but do not over tighten. Placing the pole on the anchor system requires at least four capable adults. Step 9. Stand up and install the pole on the anchor system. Using the hardware that was in the anchor system box, tighten all four nuts. Step 10. Install the actuator handle and lower the arms until they make contact with the safety stop. Attaching the backboard requires at least five capable adults. Step 11. Raise the backboard and attach lower board arms to the rim support. Do not over tighten the nuts as this is a pivot point. Step 12. Attach the upper board arms to the inside of the upper mounting brackets on the backboard. Do not over tighten the nuts as this is a pivot point. Step 13. Attach the cross brace. Verify that the drain holes are at the bottom of the cross brace. Tighten nuts. Step 14. Level the pole using the nuts on the bottom side of the anchor system. Tighten the top nuts. Step 15. Mount the rim to the backboard. Level the rim. Tighten the nuts. Step 16. Install the backboard pad. Place the right side board pad on the backboard and either drill or punch through the aluminum. Install the pad with screws. Next, install the left side and then the middle. Step 17. Secure the pole pad. Step 18. Raise the rim up to 10 feet, measuring from the top of the rim to the ground. Place a mark at 10 foot on the back of the actuator. Lower the goal to its lowest setting. Stick the height label to the actuator, ensuring that the 10-foot mark lines up.